guys, so today I wanted to do a really quick first impressions and I guess demo video on the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Now I was immediately drawn to this formulation just because it is matte and it does claim to last for 24 hours, which we're not going to be putting to the test. I'm not pulling an overnighter just for a foundation. Um, but I do need something that's long lasting and also isn't going to make me an oil slick throughout the day. Um, I do have combination to pretty oily skin, especially you know during the afternoon time if I haven't powdered. My skin becomes really oily in the T-zone, um, so I'm always looking for a mattifying foundation that can kind of combat the oil throughout the day. So I was intrigued and I did want to try this one. I do want to say a few things before I go ahead and demo the foundation and also show you how it looks throughout the day. Um, I'm in the color 105 Natural Beige. I also want to say that this foundation does claim to have a demi-matte or semi-matte um, finish. It also wears, like I said, up to 24 hours and it's an air light texture. So far when I did apply it, I do feel like it is air light. It's not as heavy as some of the long wearing and really cakey foundations that I've tried in the past, which is nice. And yeah, it does claim to have oil control. I do want to say though that I did pick this one up at Target and it was $15, I think $99 or something around that price. I'll go ahead and link it below as well. Um, so that is kind of a letdown just because most of my drugstore foundations are around $12 or even below that. So this one isn't pricey because it's only $15 and you know, regular high-end foundations can be like $50. So you're saving a bargain if this one works for you, but it is kind of on the high end as far as drugstore foundation goes. So I do want to say that as well, but they do come in a pretty wide variety of skin tones. I'm not going to say they're as you know, wide as the L'Oreal True Match. They literally have a color for every kind of skin tone. Um, this one is a bit more narrow, and I think that's because it, they just launched it, so I'm not sure if they're gonna be coming out with more colors. Okay, so this is what the makeup looks like applied. Now, I don't have anything else on my face. Um, I don't have anything under my eyes, which is why my under eye circles are so bad. Um, but yeah, I just applied it with a damn beauty blender, and I thought that worked pretty well. However, I am comparing it to the Estee Lauder Double Wear just because that is my go-to, you know, 24 hour for sure uh, matte full coverage foundation. Now I know this one isn't exactly the same because the back of the packaging does say that it's um, a medium coverage and it's also an air light texture so it's not meant to be really heavy on the skin which I kind of like, it is a nice change. Um, however, it doesn't cover everything like I need it to, like right here I do have a few um, spots that it did not cover. Also on my chin, um, I do feel like I need to go back in with extra layer, so I did do that. However, you know, it didn't cover even more then as well, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and just conceal some of the spots. And then I'll be back after I've applied my under eye concealer and also set it with some powder. Okay, so I'm back. I just applied some um, powder. I applied the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to the T-zone so I didn't mess up any of the other areas of my face, and then I just you know, did my bronzer and blush and a little bit of highlight right here. Um, so everything is how I would normally do it. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see how it lasts. Hey guys, so it's about 12.30 right now and I thought I'd show you the progress. Um, everything looks pretty good, although I am a little bit shiny just, you know, on my T-zone, which is normal. Um, I do have pretty oily skin, like I said, so that's gonna happen no matter what. Um, so yeah, um, I'll go ahead and zoom in. So yeah, this is what it looks like um, zoomed in. So, I mean, everything looks pretty good. Um, pretty flawless in my opinion. I think it really blends well with the rest of my makeup. Um, like where I contoured, well I slightly contoured, where I bronzed and uh, put blush on my cheeks and highlighter. Um, it's all still there just like how I put it. And yeah, um, it covers up a lot of my redness and I like it so far. So we'll go ahead and check back in the afternoon. So it's dinner time right now. It may look really bright, but that's just because I have little lights on me. Um, but yeah, so I really like this foundation. Um, I am a little bit oily, you know, in my T-zone, but I feel like it's kind of almost like a luminous look, especially for someone who is like me, who's pretty oily anyways. Um, since I do have a matte, since I am using most mattifying foundations, um, I do kind of want to look luminous, but there's like a fine line, especially for me, between luminous and then just greasy looking, and I feel like this foundation gives me that perfect balance. Um, I would definitely recommend this foundation for any combination to oily skin lovers. I would have to say though that you kind of do have to work in spots on your face when applying it um, because it does dry really quickly. And if you just dab a little bit to each you know, part of your face, 
it might just dry you know in that patch and it's not a good look that way so I would start you know maybe with your cheek first and then work up to your forehead and uh, you know work in smaller sections on your face just so it blends seamlessly but yeah overall I really like this foundation um, I would definitely recommend it and I'm gonna go ahead and use it you know on a daily basis from here on out since I did buy it so yeah um, thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up below um, also make sure to subscribe to my channel because I will be putting you know more fashion and beauty videos on here as well as my blog dailydoseofdarling.com on a weekly basis from here on out and feel free to check out my social media platform so Instagram Twitter Facebook um, things like that will all be linked below as well so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye guys